As Oracle Database Administrators, are you comfortable working on Oracle's multi-tenant architecture? Do you understand what a container database is? Container databases are also called CDBs. Are you familiar with the concept of pluggable databases, also known as PDBs? Do you know or remember how to navigate between PDBs when connected into a container database? Hello and welcome back to my channel uh, where I seek to provide to you Oracle related content for your personal and professional development. And if you like content like this, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the videos, enable notifications so that you stay informed of when I release new concept. So if you did not answer yes to any of the above questions, I have prepared, I have put together a little video here for you to be able to help refresh your memory when it comes to uh, Oracle's multi-tenant architecture. So um, on my screen, um, you would see, uh, two sets of uh, you know, images. On this side, we have um, what we traditionally you know, have um, within our environments uh, before the multi-tenant architecture. And um, the usual architecture would be a server that has one or more databases. Now, irrespective of the platform, because Oracle certainly runs on many different platforms. So if I have a server and in my demo, I assume I have four different databases. So I have HR, I have financial, I have marketing, I have distribution. These databases are existing as separate independent standalone databases within that server and are managed separately. So for the purposes of database administration, they're managed separately. So if I was patching these databases, um, if I was upgrading these databases, if I was performing backup and recovery tasks on these databases, I would be doing so independently for each of these four databases. But the concept of consolidation, which is the whole concept of the multi-tenant architecture, right? Uh, the transition from traditional database architecture to multi-tenant architecture has been a lot of fun or maybe I can say so for some DBAs. Um, but just like every new technology, uh, the beginning gets uncomfortable, there are improvements, and then we learn, of course, as we go through the process and tend to understand it better and enjoy it better. So the concept of consolidation was Oracle wants to consolidate these databases into a container. So uh, CDB, of course, stands for container database. So in the non-container database architecture, we had these databases individually. And in the container, they now have a root container which has the metadata for that environment. And now within this root container, we have individual databases that can be plugged into that root container, hence the term PDBs. Right, so uh, when it comes to management from an Oracle database standpoint, if I was going to patch these different databases, if I patch the container, then of course, I patch all the databases, all the pluggable databases, of course, are updated to that patch set. If I back up the container, well, then every database within that container, every pluggable database, within that environment gets patched up as well. If I upgrade the container, well then every pluggable database within that environment gets upgraded as well. But like I said, however, just like new technology, um, there are some twists and you take time working within these technologies to be able to understand what they can offer for you. Okay, so all databases prior to Oracle version 12C were non-container databases. So they had the traditional, they have the traditional uh, Oracle database architecture. 
But starting in Oracle 12C, a database can either be a container database or a non-container database. So um, actually Oracle 20C, um, just for trivia, was the first container database only release. Okay, now, why am I bringing all of this up? Um, this is absolutely important because um, I, I was looking at a certain documentation um, from Oracle support and I came across um, a question. Um, and that question is a pertinent question. Well, not only one question, but a couple of questions. So will Oracle stop or close support for non-CDBs um, going forward? So um, from 19C. And is there a timeline for that? Now, these are important questions. I mean, if you are an avid Oracle technologist or an Oracle enthusiast, you certainly would want to answer this question and know exactly what the direction Oracle is taking. So um, certainly uh, you can still, according to that documentation, and this documentation was released in October of 2021. Um, this is the doc ID for your reference, if you want to go take a look at it. And there are some links and references, of course, if you have access to Oracle support to provide, you know, supporting documentation for this. So um, the answer, of course, is you can still use non-container databases, which is the regular architecture in 12C and up to 19C. However, the non-container database architecture is deprecated since Oracle database 12C. Deprecated doesn't mean it doesn't work, right? Uh, which means it is no longer the future in simple terms. Now, it may be supported and unavailable in future releases. And now we are getting information certainly that from 21C, um, this is no longer going to be supported. So starting in Oracle database 21C, a multi-tenant container database is the only supported architecture. All right. So, of course, in previous releases, we did mention, of course, that uh, the non-CDBs are going to be supported up to 19. So what does this exactly mean for us as DBAs? I want us to note a few things, right? So um, I prepared a demo, first of all, to kind of give us a little bit of a transition for anyone who was not able to answer um, yes to any of the questions that I asked uh, in the beginning. So um, let's show you a little bit of a demo, right? Let's go back to my terminal here. I'm gonna go onto my server. And on this server, I have a few databases and I have a um, container database called my bees. So let me set my environment to my bees. All right, now, um, you want to first of all understand that when you log into a container database, uh, you want to first of all ascertain if it is a container database or not. Um, and this is assuming that we are just in the learning processes, we are in the discovery process, we are still trying to get familiar with, or maybe even we are looking for a refresher on how to navigate, you know, container databases. So there is a view. Let me log into my database. There is a view called the V dollar database view. Now you're certainly familiar with this view. This view displays information about the database from the control file. There are a lot of columns. So it can get overwhelming. So you have to be very specific about some things that you're looking for. But from the V dollar database view, if I run a select, I run a select CDB from the V dollar database view. If this is a container database, I expect a response to be yes. So furthermore, um, one of the things I always try to also uh, encourage, you know, uh, DBAs who are getting familiar with these processes, I always want you to use uh, show con ID or it could be con name, right? So let's start with ID and then let's talk about it. So con ID is one. If you are in a container database, the root container is always going to have an ID of one. We can as well also use show con name and it's gonna give us what the root container is. So CDB root. Now, um, 
if you also want to take a quick peek at show pdbs this is my favorite actually show pdbs pluggable databases if you take a look at that it is going to give you certainly um the name of the pluggable databases that are within that container okay so um let's also take a look at a second view um with the second view uh, there is a view called the dollar containers now um if you've been a dba for any length of time uh our v dollar views typically have their names in the singular so v dollar database v dollar uh table space v dollar uh data file uh but there is a twist in this one it's called v dollar containers with an s it's not v dollar container so i want you to pay attention to that so if you have as a reflex uh the singularity of or your v dollar views uh, this one is a little bit different. So if I query the V dollar containers, this is a view that displays information about PDBs and the root, uh, the root database that is associated with the current instance. So the root that is associated with the current instance. Okay. So there are a few columns here that we can take a look at. So let's first of all run a select on our con ID and DB. Uh, let's no no let's do. Con ID, yes, of course, con ID. Let's look at name um, from <clears throat> uh, V dollar containers. All right, uh, let's format the name column. This is so column name format. Uh, a, let me give it a 10. Okay, so let's rerun this query now and see. This should pro pro provide you know a much more user friendly. So this V dollar container, of course, V dollar containers can give us a little bit more detail about this. Now we can actually query a few more columns to see how that works. So uh, we would select con ID, con name, and we can also select maybe something such as DBID. Uh, we can select uh you know um i don't know anything else that you you would like for us to select we can see here we can just say open mode for example right from the dollar containers and that would give us of course um now if you had your pluggable databases in here they certainly would not be pdb1 pdb2 this was just for demo purposes they would actually have real names for databases right um and, and again, of course, there is Oracle documentation that you can look in order to see, you know, some other things, how you would be able to uh, identify if you're in a container database or not. So while you're in a container database, so let's go ahead and show PDBs here. If you are in a container database and say maybe PDB1 was a database that you wanted to switch to, because as DBAs, um, we get into these containers and sometimes we might get confused uh, and run commands on an environment that we certainly did not want to. Okay, so um, I first of all want to show you know user. First of all, I need to know who I am, right? If I'm seized and bestowed with all the powers that I need to have, I'm having a cape on my neck and I can do anything to the database. So I have to be careful. So um, how do we navigate across the different pluggable databases? We use a command called the alter session command now when we alter our session we are altering our session and we are setting assuming i wanted to move over i wanted to work within the pdb1 environment right i want to alter session set container equals and then i identify the container that i want to get into right so if i do that and then of course i show container name it tells me which container I am currently in right now, which is PDB1. Similarly, if I wanted to leave from PDB1 to PDB2, I would do the same thing for PDB2. I would alter my session and I would set container PDB2. And I would, to confirm that show container name, I would be in PDB2. Similarly, I can get back to the root container. Um, CDB root, of course. Um, And then of course, if I do a show con name, I should be in my CDB. So with the alter session set container, 
um, you can navigate between the containers of your database. So for a short demo on how to get comfortable with multi-tenant architecture, um, that would be what I would want to share with you today. Now, in terms of recommendations, please get familiar with the multi-tenant architecture. It is going to be the future. You can find a lot of documentation on Oracle website itself. Oracle, Oracle database has a lot of documentation, right? There are also a lot of blogs online. There are also a lot of YouTube videos, including mine, of course. Um, I'm going to be making a lot more videos on Oracle 12C. Uh, not Oracle 12C, sorry, Oracle's multi-tenant architecture, okay? Now, when you get connected to, uh, my second recommendation is when you get connected into a container database, always, always make sure that you know where you are. Show container name, show PDDs, know that you're working within the environment that you are supposed to work, work in. If you don't do that, bad things may happen. Get familiar with it. Like I mentioned, um, I do have uh, a couple of videos that would help you develop a playground for yourself, right? A playground is a test environment. I'm gonna add uh, 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 the link to those videos below in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if it was helpful. Uh, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe uh, to the channel. Um, continue to, um, to help the channel so that we can continue bringing you content that would be useful. Um, so, uh, in conclusion, like I mentioned, um, container databases, CDBs, and pluggable databases, PDBs, are the future. So um, get familiar with them and learn how to use them to your advantage. Thank you for watching, and I certainly uh, would see you in the next video.